Bemidji State's 1966-67 basketball team always made a striking impression, suited up in Coach Zeke Hoagland's favorite striped socks. Some teams called us candy stripers, remembers forward John Phillips, but when we were winning, it didn't matter. The Beavers had only one goal in mind. They wanted a conference title. With five senior starters, including Tri-Captain John Phillips, Mark Carlene, and Norm Mansell, plus Dale Retker and Ted Anderson, the team had a few sharpshooters, a little height, speed to run the floor, and a smothering half-court zone press. They also had good team chemistry. Everyone was considered an equal, and we respected our coach, says Phillips. It turned out to be a lethal combination. In opening conference play, the Beavers defeated the five-time defending NIC champion St. Cloud Huskies, a feat no other conference team had done in St. Cloud for more than a decade. Carleen scored 30 points that game on his way to breaking Bemidji State's all-time point record. Four games into conference play, the Beavers remained undefeated and fans loved it. Zeke told a newspaper reporter there was no way they could keep it up. The NIC was just too tough. His players suggested otherwise, and Zeke retorted that if they pulled that off, he'd eat his words. Beaver fans weren't waiting. They packed the gym every home game. Bemidji State had to bring in additional seating for overflow crowds. The team roster was filled with mostly Minnesota players who drew fans from across the state. To keep things exciting, Zeke passed around the stick em for tacky fingers, and had all his players on the dunk line in pregame drills. Among memorable moments was when Zeke inadvertently missed the Beavers' first-round tournament game in Aberdeen, South Dakota, while scouting their nemesis in St. Cloud. Assistant coach Ron Coleman and half the team got to Aberdeen just in time to realize the mistake. Fueled on Slim Jims and junk food, Ted Anderson remembers arriving at the gym without a moment to spare. With half the equipment in St. Cloud, Jim Wheeler had to borrow Dan Christensen's uniform. They had missed warm-ups, yet the Beavers prevailed. And Wheeler, wearing Dan's number 13, had possibly the best game of his career with little credit for it. Dan's proud father, listening to the radio announcers from home, thought Dan, not Wheeler, had been the star of the game. But no one was more surprised than Zeke, who heard the Beaver score announced that night at the St. Cloud game. In conference play, the Beavers went on to defeat Winona State, Mankato State, St. Cloud State, Morris, and Michigan Tech. Then in a thrilling final in Bemidji, they defeated Moorhead to claim a perfect 12-0 conference record. The Beavers eventually lost to St. Thomas College in the NAIA playoffs, but no other Beaver basketball team since has gone undefeated in conference play. And Coach Zeke literally ate his words for his triumphant conference team, who remain standouts in the Beaver record books.